Hey there folks, welcome to another video. So, if you've been watching my channel, you'll know that I've been sort of sidelined a little bit by uh, the minis in Automobilista 2, but I have not forgotten about EAWRC, which I'm still playing through my 5 hours trial period on EA Play. So, I've done about the first 2 hours, and uh, the footage that I am going to show you in this short video was actually shot about two weeks ago prior to the new patch coming out, 1.4 I think is, is the version it is up to now. So quite interesting because I saw that 1.4 patch being applied even to my EA Play version. I've yet to try it, however I have been reading some pretty negative stuff online about how the career mode is almost completely broken now, which doesn't sound too good. So I've got two hours still to play on my EA Play and this is going to be with patch 1.4, so there'll be videos coming up on that fairly soon. However, as I say, this footage was shot about two or three weeks ago and it was me dipping my feet into the career mode and just giving a few thoughts on that. So without any further ado, let's have a look at this career mode. So, you want to be the World Rally Champion, eh? It isn't an easy thing to do as a privateer, not by a long chalk. But you've got potential, and my boss, he thinks you might just be the one to take this team to the top. It's not going to be easy, mind. In addition to putting those fancy driving skills to good use, you'll also have to help me with the running of our little outfit. Managerial stuff, budgets and the like. It might sound like a lot, but we really do believe you've got what it takes. And in this sport, you have to work hard to beat the best. So what do you say? Ready to get out into the big leagues, eh? That was a nice scene setter. Certainly got me in the mood. Well, we're very glad you've agreed to join the team. Before we get stuck in, we need to figure out what tier of competition we're going to enter you into. This will affect the vehicle you'll be driving initially, as well as the amount of official WRC events you'll be able to compete in, and how much funding we'll have access to. So, you can start at the bottom in junior WRC and work your way up, or, if you prefer, you can go straight in at the top in the WRC. It's your decision. Uh, we'll try the junior. All right. I hope you've got some good ideas for team names, as now we've got the championship level sorted, we need to go through some paperwork regarding the team and its branding. You have a load of options you can choose from, and you'll be able to change this at any time throughout the season. Okay, so we can uh, choose some colours for the team and put a team name in. So we'll just do that. Forgive my terrible typing. There we go. Choose the colours, but a bit red bullish. That'll do for now. Hello. Pleasure to meet you in person, finally. I'm Keith, and I'm going to be your chief engineer for the foreseeable future. I'm the guy responsible for raising your game. I'll be helping you with running the team, telling you what you're doing right, as well as wrapping your knuckles when you get things wrong. All right, welcome to HQ. Make yourself comfortable. This is your new home. It's where you'll take care of business away from the stages. Anyway, I don't know about you, but I'm ready to get started. A new team is always an exciting opportunity, especially with a driver of your caliber at the helm. But first, we do just need to get through a wee bit of admin, which leads me to this. What I've got here is the contract for this year. If you'd just like to review it and sign at the bottom, that'd be grand. Okay, season offer. Season offers contain targets for the season set by the benefactor. So you can see all the different targets that you've got to hit. Now that's sorted, we can move on to something a bit more exciting. Mr. Luca has given us a few different options we can choose from for your first car. And we can even spec our own if you'd like. Why don't you have a look at the options available and let me know what you decide. Then, we can get it sent out for the pre-season test. Ah, uh, it's time to add a car. 
nice little Ford Fiesta. So I assume we are going to this test rally. Here we go, like a rally shakedown. That's quite a gaudy colour scheme. Start slight right on 30. Good luck. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Slide okay, right here we go. We're off. Unseen, late three left opens 50. Six right to the crest. 50. Another beautiful looking Six track, I have to say. Dirt surface, so cars skidding around a little bit. Oh, these cars do feel good to drive in this game, I must say. One thing I'm very disappointed about in this um, new 1.4 update release is there is still no sign of VR. I was kind of hoping they would include that in this new patch before Christmas. I, to be honest, I can't understand why it wasn't ready in the game when it was released, but I would have thought it would be one of the first things they would add, because sim racers nowadays really do want VR, and with the success of it in Dirt Rally 2... Oh, nice through the water, but what a dreadful effect that is, the water spraying up in front of the car as well. But yeah, VR should be our priority, and there's still no sign of it coming. Nice windy bit up the hill. So, I still not purchased this game, even though it was um, with my EA Play, I get a little bit of a discount. But I was really hoping to see what this new patch would bring, and for the VR to come in. So once I'd completed that introductory test rally, you can go and look at your targets again and you can have a look at your budgets to see how on point they are and you can see my benefactor status there was happy. There was chief engineer training, I've not really explored this at all yet, but it looks quite deep, uh, a bit like the old F1 games that are uh, including all this kind of thing now as well. So this is promising. Now this bit I don't like. Uh, the way they've laid out this calendar, I did not find intuitive at all. I'd much prefer they just had a, a stock calendar view up on your screen, showing the 28, 29, 30 days or whatever, and events that you could enter. Uh, much easier. I mean, I really didn't understand flipping about here and what I was doing, to be honest. So I think this could have been handled a wee bit better. But as usual with these rally videos, I like to round them off with a TV replay of the last event. So here's this training rally that I was taking part in from the TV angles in the game, and there's no doubt it looks, looks fantastic. Despite the niggles, and despite this new 1.4 patch seemingly making the career worse, I still have high hopes for this game. Uh, if they can just pull it out the bag, if they can get that VR included, but uh, yeah, look at this, it looks spectacular. I definitely think it looks better than Dirt 2. I know a lot of people say that they're kind of comparable or even Dirt 2 looks a little bit better, but uh, I think this looks great. I don't like that in, in cockpit view very much. <laughs> Water could be a little bit better done. Here's this really nice windy uphill section coming. Totally got it wrong there. So that was basically hour three, as I say, dipping my toes into the career, and I've got a bit more career footage that I did straight after this. I'll make that the next EA WRC video. But uh, yeah, I enjoyed it. So I hope you enjoyed that, guys, and I will see you in the next video. Cheers for now.